Welcome once again back to the lab. It is your old Professor Pilk, and we're coming back today again talking about Pokemon for the upcoming Shiny Rayquaza Raid. And can we talk about how awesome it is that we're getting a guaranteed Shiny here? That is fantastic. Now, I do already have Shiny Rayquaza, but getting a guaranteed Raid is just super cool. Like, that's basically going to give everybody the opportunity to get this Mon. And so that's why we're talking about this with uh, so much enthusiasm, because we've got a little less than two weeks before that raid drops. So we want to get as many Mon out so people can build these Mon and so that people can get their shiny Rayquazas, because that is absolutely phenomenal. Now, uh, when we're talking about the raids here, uh, we talked last time about a fairy type. We talked about Tinkaton. Tinkaton does have kind of one thing that's holding her back, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And we do currently have raids for Azumarill, which I would cover, but I can't think we already covered a Fairy Mon, so we're going to cover that here in a couple of days. We'll talk about the Azumarill build. I think that's kind of a no-brainer build. We've used that a number of times already. But I want to talk about a couple of other builds that are going to be out there that we pretty much already put together. So that brings me to a Mon we've used, I only think, once before, and that is Dragapult, a mod that I really think is going to be phenomenal for this that I don't think has gotten a lot of shine. Now, yes, he is a dragon type, he is a ghost dragon, and so therefore he's going to be weak to the other dragon moves that Rayquaza is going to have. But you are talking about a level 100 Pokemon, which you should be doing here, versus a level 75 Pokemon, admittedly with some buffs. Now, I'll talk about how we're going to kind of go around that. However, to kick this off, we do want to have an Adamant Mint on here. Obviously, we want to up his physical attacks. This is mostly physical attacker. He does have some special attacks, but I think we're going to get the most out of his physical attacks. And I don't think Rayquaza is going to have anything that's going to really buff his physical defense anyway. So I think physical or special, you're going to be fine in this raid. Now, when I went to Terra type here, I went with a Stellar Terra type. You could make do easily with a Dragon Terra. You should be just fine. You're not going to gain or lose anything, I don't think, either way on this. But I like the Stellar Terra, and in the event that Rayquaza has like a normal move or something, it'll basically still keep that negated once your Terrastalization is up. So it's just a, a, a like a tiny little extra level of security, but if you don't have Stellar Shards, Dragon will be just fine. You'll be great with Dragon. Just make sure it's not a Ghost Terra or some other weird Terra type. Dragon Terra, probably the best. Stellar Terra, just a personal favorite, just to add that little, like, 5 to 10% of uh, potential security here. Now, Ability, Cursed Body. I think that's a no-brainer. We know that uh, Rayquaza is going to be buffing his physical attacks. We know he's most likely going to have Dragon Dance and probably Sword Stance. So we know he's going to be doing a lot of physical moves. Cursed Body is essentially what that's going to do when he hits you. It is, a, I, th I believe, a 30% chance. It's a, it's a decent percent chance to actually disable that move. So you have a chance here to shut down the things that really hurt you, especially considering dragon moves are going to be super effective, and he's going to have some, uh, some physical dragon moves that could really do some damage. So the ability to negate that is just an extra layer of defense that Dragon Ball has that a lot of other mon aren't going to have in this kind of repertoire. Plus, he has a just a plethora of dragon moves that he could pull out here. I put Dragon Claw and Dragon Rush on here. I think Dragon Rush is absolutely my favorite like DPS level move that he has in his build. And uh, I did do Dragon Dance on him just because he, I don't think he has access to Swords Dance, at least not that I saw. So at this point, I think Dragon Dance is going to be his, his main buff. However, I did include Will of Wisp. Now, remember, I said that Rayquaza, while, you know, having both special attack and physical attack that's very, very, very high, he is most likely going to be buffing his physical attack. So with Will of Wisp, you're going to be cutting that physical attack back in half again. So it really is just a way to keep that damage uh, down, so to speak. Unfortunately, it won't work once he gets his uh, his his shield up, his barrier up, but by that point, you should be dragon danced enough that you're doing enough damage that you're going to be able to overcome any of that. I don't think it's going to be much of an issue, plus Cursed Body is going to help keep that at a bare minimum. So I think this is a really solid build that has a lot of potential. You could take some damage, but I think you're going to be able to pay that back in spades, and with a Shell Bell item, like we pretty much always use these days, uh... I think you'll be able to get enough healing out that when you do deal damage, you'll be able to tank just about anything else he has incoming. So I think this is a really good build. Now, Eevee-wise, I went with 
attack and defense, obviously, because I think the defense is where we need it the most. Dragapult is incredibly quick, shockingly quick. I was actually surprised by how fast this mod is. Now, we know that with Dragon Dance, Rayquaza is going to be increasing his uh, speed, but your base speed level is going to be way above his. So you should always be going first in this raid unless he's got a move that paralyzes. Hopefully not, but it's possible. He could have Wild Charge or something like that. Like, it, there, there's a way that he could actually affect you and paralyze you, though I don't foresee that. We have to keep that as a possibility. That said, so long as he Dragon Dances, you Dragon Dance, you'll be faster than him. You should be just fine in the speed department. So... I didn't put anything in speed, I put in attack, defense, and anything left over, I put back in HP, just to give you a little bit more, I guess, oomph, uh, not even oomph, just girth, bulk, that will help you keep uh, ahead of his damage. So I really, really, really like this mod. Now, probably not the best mod, you will have to be a little mindful of the damage you're intaking, and you'll have to keep ahead of, dragon, uh, of his dragon dances with your dragon dances. Uh, he does have the ability to sword stance, which is the equivalent of two dragon dances uh, in the offense department, not in the speed department. But I really think with Will-O-Wisp and Dragon Dance, you can negate just about anything as incoming, especially considering he's going to be level 75, we're going to be level 100. I think you're going to be fine, but I do like to play it a little bit safe, and I'm sure most people out there understand. Now... I like this build a lot, but kind of with Tinkaton, I do see the shortcomings of this build. So if you're looking for a build that's going to be more fun than just like, you know, crazy, effective, you know. Admittedly, there probably are some other builds out there that are going to be a little bit more um, reliable, for lack of a better way to put it. But I do think this is a mod that I really like just in general. I love Dragapult. Um, I love my dragon types in general. They're probably my favorite typing in the game. I know it's a really, oh, it's a, such a hot take. Uh, but, you know, fight me in the comments if you think that's a take. But nevertheless, I love this mod. I want to use this mod some more. So we're going to go ahead and give him a go when that raid comes around here in two weeks. Um, I do kind of feel like Azumarill and a couple other mod probably will be the preferred. But if you want a really fun solo run, that is, you know, like a, a just an underappreciated, underused mod. I think this is going to be a ton of fun and definitely one of my go-tos. So, saw it off in the comments. What do you guys think and what are you guys planning to use? I've already seen Deancey as, as an option. I don't know how I feel about that, but, you know, like, I mean, with the rock typing. Uh, granted, uh, he's going to have Dragon Terra, so I don't think the rock typing is going to be that important. But... Uh, obviously the fairy typing and all that, you know, it's a possibility. I am considering my build for that one. I do love Deancey just in general. So you guys sound off. Let me know what you guys are going to be using and, uh, maybe we'll, we'll put some of those builds together. We got two weeks. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So make sure you guys uh, subscribe to stay up to date and I'll be back with more coming up here really, really soon.